Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Happy Girl Alaska. I am your girl, Terry. And if you are new here, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I know you're going to enjoy this video. And if you are a return viewer and not yet subscribed, hit that button. Then if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining me today. I got a really good reception from the last video I did where I talked about the 10 things I love about living in Alaska. So I figure it would only be right to balance it out and list the 10 things I dislike about living in Alaska. Now, the title is 10 things I hate about living in Alaska. I don't want to say hate because hate is a very strong word, but there's a few things that I could really do without. So um, again, this is my list, my own personal opinion. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of the things that I dislike about living in Alaska is that we are so isolated. I mean, we are, we're extremely far away from every other state in the US. So I spent some time in Texas and uh, whenever I go visit my parents in Georgia or you know we go down to Florida it's just easy to get on the road and travel and be in the next state well you can't do that here you have to get on a plane and so that's one of the things it has worked to our benefit though with all this COVID stuff that's been happening it's worked to our benefit but yeah that's one of the things that I kind of wish we could just get on the road and sure you can get on the Alcan and go through Canada but I mean it's just so much to go through okay so another thing that i would say about living in alaska is that it is expensive to live here um the next video that i put out will be talking about the cost of living because i know a lot of people are interested in knowing about the cost of living in alaska and so whenever i have friends that come up to visit and let's say for instance we go to the grocery store they are just astounded by how much we pay for groceries but i have to remind them well we have to have all of our our produce shipped up here and just like with anything else if you go shopping if you compare walmart prices or fred meyer or cars prices to what they have in the lower 48 what you'll see is that the price is higher and sometimes significantly higher now we do not pay tax or we don't have to pay sales tax in um, Alaska so that kind of works to our benefit but other than that yeah it can be pretty expensive um, you know you look at some of the cost of the homes and um, rentals and that kind of stuff and uh, yeah that could kind of be a deterrent for people who are thinking about moving up here but what I will say is the amount of money you make is higher than what you would make for the same occupation in some states or cities in the lower 48. There are some exceptions but I guess it kind of balances out. Okay so number three is I think the winter scenery is really nice like I said in the last video but it gets so cold it gets really cold and it's dark and the darkness can really weigh on you um, that's why again how to beat the winter blues um, I kind of talk about some things some activities you can partake in to kind of help combat combat that um, but yeah the winter is here and to be honest with you so our winter usually kicks off maybe um i would say at the beginning towards the end of september beginning of october and then things start kind of thawing out around i would say um beginning to mid april so how many months is that so i would say our winters last about maybe six or seven months here okay so another thing that i dislike about living in alaska is that there is limited competition here so sometimes there may be monopolies on certain goods and services um, one of them that I I'm not gonna mention the name of the uh, of the retailer but I will say there aren't many options up here for internet providers and so um, sometimes you might feel like there's a little bit of 
price gouging happening here. Um, for a very long time, we had very few options as far as wireless providers, but now we have AT&T, we have wireless, we have Cricket. Some other folks are showing up on the scene to kind of help level out that playing field, so that's nice. So um, just be aware, um, people ask questions about hairdressers, barbers, that kind of stuff. And I feel like what you pay up here, even the nail shops, what you pay up here is a lot more than what you would pay if there was more competition. So say if you um, go to the same services in the lower 48. Okay, so the next one is limited shopping options. So I made a video about when they closed down Nordstrom because Nordstrom for the longest time was the upscale shopping um, retailer and with them closing down we really don't have any options here anymore and it's kind of sad um, we still have JC Penney but I'm hearing rumors they may be shutting down um, we have Kohl's um, so and when I'm talking about shopping I mean shopping for like clothing so if you're interested in shopping for other things other goods and services yes we have Lowe's we have Home Depot um, fishing places or outdoor gears we have Cabela's we have um, REI and then there's one more I think pro bass shop or something like that but there are several options for that because Alaska really is geared towards the outdoorsmen so you have a lot of options there but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty limited um, for us, those of us, both men and women, who enjoy shopping and finding nice retailers, just know ahead of time your options are going to be pretty limited. Okay, another one is limited entertainment. So I remember a long time ago, we would get several artists up here. So we would get jazz artists, R&B, rock bands, um, country and western, comedians. Um, we would get plays. Those types of entertainer or that type of entertainment really doesn't come up here as often as it used to and I don't know if maybe ticket sales weren't that great but I really do miss having the entertainment options that we used to have a while ago um, now as far as entertainment that kind of spans a very broad so depending on what you're into but I'm talking about like concerts and shows and that kind of stuff it's very limited and very rare that we would have folks come up here and uh, put on shows all right so another thing that can be um, pretty difficult about living in Alaska is that you'll get cabin fever so I am guilty of this myself sometimes I will stay in my house so I'll just go from home to work or maybe home to church do the little grocery run as needed so that can cause you to start getting cabin fever you go stir crazy just being in the house and that's kind of difficult because I noticed for me it's not until I've been experiencing cabin fever for maybe about a month that I realized oh my gosh I'm just staying in my house I'm not getting out I'm not you know doing things and being social Okay, so this next item um, is kind of along the same lines as limited shopping, but it's a little bit different in that some retailers will not ship to Alaska. I don't know why, because there are so many others that will, but from time to time, if you shop with someone online or with a company online, they'll show this little sign at the bottom, even on Amazon, that says, this product requires special handling or sometimes it'll just say does not shop to what is it states outside the continental US or something like that and I think that Hawaii has the same type of experience um, anybody who's watching this video if you're from Hawaii if you could kind of comment and speak to that um, but yeah I found things online that I absolutely fell in love with only to get to the checkout well, I think now they tell you before you get to the checkout, but 
only to see down at the bottom in red letters does not ship to Alaska so yeah that's kind of a bummer okay so this next one and I think this might be the tenth one here but I have a bonus because I absolutely have to speak to this last one but um, before I get to that bears come out during the summer I mean they are out here in these streets they are roaming around in neighborhoods and a lot of times you will find black bears to me black bears seem to be very social and what I mean by that is they don't seem like they're that afraid of humans not meaning social as in you can go up and pet them that's just crazy but they will just kind of wander through the neighborhood they'll go up in your garage and a lot of times they're looking for food so they'll get into your trash can and I don't know um, if I've heard of that many people being mauled by a black bear or attacked by a black bear. Now if it's a brown bear or a grizzly bear then you need to get the heck out of Dodge if you see one of those but a lot of times with the black bears if you make yourself and this is what I've heard I've never done this but if you make yourself look big so like stand up and lift your arms up really high and just kind of like hold a stance of like you know standing your ground or whatever legend has it that they'll run away now I cannot confirm or deny that because let me tell you if I see a bear I'm not trying to assess if it's black brown grizzly whatever I'm getting out of Dodge and that might be putting myself in jeopardy but I already know my first response is flight so just be aware of that it is nothing to like go outside and see a bear roaming through the neighborhood a bear or a bear and their cubs okay so this is the last item here and I think I've spoken to it in a couple videos um, the the last thing I want to mention and this is a bonus that I can honestly say I hate about living in Alaska is in the summertime big huge freaking mosquitoes are like out in full effect they're rude they're disrespectful they bite you they don't care and so what I would say is if you're going to be outside especially if you're going to be out in the wilderness and kind of like doing some hiking fishing anything like that and depending on where you go because I find that in Wasilla Palmer and Wasilla those things are so savage so you want to make sure that you put on your mosquito repellent you know rub yourself down get the kind with the SPF if that's what you're into but just make sure you are just layered up with that stuff because those mosquitoes are not playing games they're trying to eat they are trying to get that food so yeah be on the lookout for that okay so there you have it those are the 10 things that I just like about living in Alaska I love living here like I said I just wanted to kind of balance it out there's so many great things about Alaska and the good far outweighs the bad so uh, yeah I think that's gonna do it thank you again for joining me um, like comment subscribe share the video and I will see you in the next one take care bye